The agreement just made by members of Congress on the next stimulus package. Also, the statement made today by President Biden catching a lot of people off guard. And the new vaccine mandate rolling out, meanwhile lawsuits are being filed against the Biden administration in regards to the vaccine mandate. All of that plus more in this video. Let's get into this right away. But really quickly, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video as I'm here for you with all of the latest updates each and every day as well as bringing you honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information each and every day in all of my videos and ultimately I just want to help you out in any way that I can as I know it's a tough time right now and information is changing very rapidly. So again, thank you so much for being here. Subscribe down below and let's get right into this. All right, first things first, really quickly, for those of you who watched my last video clearing up some confusion on this last stage stimulus package and a potential $1,400 stimulus check. I appreciate the nice messages on that video. And yes, I know it's confusing with everything going on out there, but I wanted to make that video because I was afraid where that was possibly going, as in I think a lot of people were possibly thinking stimulus checks were arriving. So again, I, I hope I cleared it up in that last video again. Um, I just wanted to come back and lay it all out for you. I know it's very confusing with everything going on. So again, thank you so much for watching that. If you haven't seen that video, feel free to go back and check that one out. It was just the last video I uploaded a few hours ago. All right, let's get into what's going on today. So first off, some members of Congress have come to an agreement on the next stimulus package. Basically, they have come together and they have pledged that on or before the week of November 15th, they will officially fully pass the reconciliation bill. Now, that is one of the ways that they got more votes on the bill that actually passed through Congress last night. So previously leading up to it all day yesterday, they basically did not have the votes, which is why the vote came at practically midnight, right? It was very late last night when the vote finally came down and the package actually passed. That's why it took so long. They spent all day yesterday trying to just garner up all the votes that they needed for this actual passing of the package. Well, one of the concessions that they made was, hey, we promise we will pledge to get the reconciliation bill voted on and fully passed on or before the week of November 15th. So that's not that far from very from, from right now. And we anticipate this next week is also going to be a very, very busy one when it comes to the reconciliation bill. So we're coming right down to it, really. I mean, it's, it's not that far away, right? So that is one of the things. And it sounds like it's probably going to be a done deal once they finally get this thing to the floor and start actually debating it and voting on it. Again, of course, everything could be delayed at any given point for any reason, but of course, I'll watch it very closely and I'll bring you those updates. Also, some vaccine mandate information. So remember a few days ago, uh, we had that announcement that basically the vaccine mandate was coming out for uh, big companies that have over 100 employees where all of their employees e either need to be fully vaccinated or be subjected to weekly testing and mask wearing by January 4th. Well, now they have some new vaccine mandates coming out, and that is for smaller businesses. Any of these companies with under 100 employees, they want to implement the same vaccine mandates rolling out for them as well. Well, as you could probably imagine, some people are not having it with that, and the Biden administration is dealing with some lawsuits now as a result of all of these vaccine mandates. In fact, the Federal Court of Appeals has filed a lawsuit against the Biden administration saying this is outside the parameters of the Constitution, as in it's not constitutional to do what they are doing with this vaccine mandate. So, as you could probably imagine, there's always controversy with everything. Again, I'm not going either way with this stuff. I'm just simply bringing you the information that's out there right now. But again, we'll have to see how this whole thing shakes out. But realistically, we're less than two months away from when that, that big mandate would really come in. What's interesting right now is there's... um. Again, I'm not taking sides with this at all. I'm just simply giving you what I'm finding out there. There's a lot of people with these uh, vaccine mandates coming down right now that are kind of been working in their jobs for, you know, 30 years, 30 couple years or whatever. I mean, working and just, they're just saying, hey, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and retire. <laughs> so a lot of people are just quitting their jobs or just straight up retiring at this point because they just feel like, you know what? I'm just going to wrap it up. You know, it was a good run. Let's just be done now. So it'll be interesting to see how the end of the year actually progresses here and what happens early next year as these mandates actually put in place here and see if there's this great resignation, right? The, the mass exodus. 
We'll have to see. Again, maybe not. Who knows? But uh, based on what I'm reading, it just sounds like a lot of people are just kind of just calling it quits right now, right? In fact, this year alone, 3 million more people than historically on, on average have actually retired this year. So 3 million more people. That's a lot of people out of the workforce, right? Um, but anyway, congratulations to those people who are retiring. That's really exciting. I mean, seriously. I mean, that's the end goal for pretty much everybody, right? Work until you get to retire. And then it's all gravy from there, right? Well, it should be anyway. Um, but anyway, kind of cool stuff. I mean, it's very interesting anyway, I should say. So I want to let you know what I was finding with all of that. Now, let's talk about what President Biden said today. All right, so remember about a week and a half ago or so, there was that whole statement that came out that basically said um, that he said he would be open to sending uh, families who were separated at the border back in 2018 $450,000 per person. Do you remember that? Well, then a few days ago, just on Wednesday, a couple days ago, uh, he came out and said, I didn't say that. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I didn't say that at all. You know what I mean? So a lot of people were like, yeah, you did say that. Well, here's what's interesting. President Biden was out earlier today and said he actually supports sending cash payments to people and families that were separated at the border in 2018. So one other thing is he did not necessarily mention a dollar amount this time, but rather he says these families should be compensated. Well, in the reports that I was reading about this, they were actually projecting that some families would be, uh, would be getting over $1 million in cash money because they were separated at the border. So uh, I'm kind of curious, what do you think of this? I imagine I can probably have a pretty good anticipation of what I'm going to be reading in the comments down below, but um, I'm kind of curious what you have to say about that. Here we are, Americans, struggling, doing you know the thing, getting benefits from Social Security, SSDI, SSI, VA, whatever, and all we're doing is we're basically begging for a $1,400 stimulus check. We're begging for monthly recurring payments in the amount of $500, $1,000, $1,400, $2,000, whatever. We're begging for this. And then to turn around and find out some of these people are going to turn into millionaires <laughs> as a result of this. I keep uh, scratching my head a little bit thinking, I'm pretty sure I was separated from somebody at the border a couple years ago. I don't know about you. Were, were you separated? <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm obviously I'm kidding, but um, it's not something to joke about. But seriously, um, wow, seriously, a million dollars. That would be like a huge windfall for a lot of people. Could you imagine just getting a million dollars? I mean, that's literally like a lottery winning right there. I mean, seriously, a million dollars is like, that's not pocket change anymore, right? That's, that's nothing to... Um, turn your nose up at for anybody, right? I mean, a million dollars is some serious cash. So anyway, um, it's kind of interesting. And basically what the reports are saying is regardless of how this is going to work out, these families are pretty much getting money. So um, yeah, there's a lot of controversy about this right now. Of course, I'm not taking sides. I'm simply just giving you the information that I'm finding. But super interesting to see that the president once again flipped on this as a week and a half ago, he made the statement saying, yep, 450, and now a couple of days ago saying, I don't know what you're talking about and saying it was garbage. And now all of a sudden coming out today and openly saying, yes, I support cash payments, but we don't have an amount yet. And these people should be compensated. Interesting, right? So yeah, I know that's kind of a rabbit hole. I'm not going down that rabbit hole, but I'm just simply giving you the information that I'm finding. So a lot of weird stuff going on today, but um, yeah, the president was out earlier today, kind of endorsing this uh, infrastructure package, talking about it, and they'll be coming back with a signing ceremony at some point. He didn't indicate when, but he did indicate that he wants all of the members of Congress who actually voted for it to be there to be recognized. So um, are we talking like Monday then or what? Because I'm pretty sure members of Congress are... <laughs> who knows what at their beach homes today or um who knows at the at the country club playing golf on their yacht honestly i have no clue what they're doing today but i'm guessing it's not doing anything productive um as far as you know legislation goes but anyway who knows? So either way, I'll keep you posted on all this. I wanted to bring you back the latest details. I know there's some crazy things going on right now. Seriously, it's almost like when I read some of this stuff, it's like, seriously, is this really happening? But yeah, seriously, you can't make some of this stuff up, <laughs> right? <laughs> Again, it's just, it's, just, it's just almost weird to read these articles and read through all this information as I do my re daily research every day to be like, really? I Honestly, I can't even imagine what's going to come next. Like, really? You know, <laughs> kind of interesting stuff. So anyway, I hope this helps you out. Again, I'm always here for you every single day. And I hope this makes it, um, 
I just want to make it very clear. Like, I'm completely unbiased to all this stuff. I honestly do not take sides, even though sometimes it makes it seem like, oh, I'm taking a certain side. I'm really not. I'm just simply giving you the information. I think like some of this stuff is just a little bit mind blowing. A little bit is a little bit shocking when we go through this information and see what's actually going on out there. It's like, how can this possibly be happening? You know what I mean? So anyway, I just want to make it very clear. I just want to be as nonpartisan as possible in these videos. And really in, in real life, I pretty much am that way in real life too. I agree with a little bit from both sides. That's about it. You know what I mean? So anyway, hope that makes sense. But again, I really do appreciate your support. Subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. Share this video or any others here on the channel with your friends, family, social media. And if you haven't seen it yet, I would say go back and watch that video from earlier today. The the last one that I put out, it offers some great clarification on the stimulus packages and what's actually in there right now, especially the one that just passed through Congress late last night, because um, I think there's some confusion out there. And like I said, I want to make it very clear what's actually going on. So thanks again. I really do appreciate you. Make sure to leave any comments or questions down below, and I'll catch you again later in the next video. I'll